Welcome back. This is the second in a series of eight videos showing how Interact.js is being used by educators to remove communication barriers. So uh, let's just jump right into it here. Um, in this particular uh, video, what we're talking about is the ability to uh, automatically close caption anything that's being said. When we started this effort, uh, obviously uh, looked out there to see what was available and uh, found this quote, which I, I uh, thought was pretty interesting. Uh, this is an individual back in 1883 uh, that had this dream of uh, finding some sort of instrument uh, that uh, could uh, transcribe what he called ordinary human utterance. So today we'll call that instrument a computer. And uh, what we're, uh, again, uh, translating or transcribing, I'll kind of use those words interchangeably, is conversational free speech. Um, so as we were talking with uh, representatives from various uh, uh, users within the communities, uh, they came back with some uh, very strong uh, opinions, uh, strong feelings as to what uh, this product should be able to do for them. And so first and foremost was this ability to use it anywhere. And so, uh, for example, let's contrast it with something like uh, the UB Duo system. And for those of you not familiar with that, what it is is uh, uh, two laptops, actually two rather large laptops, uh, that are kind of hinged together and you unfold them and uh, then you lay it uh, on a desktop surface and uh, with that, uh, then you can start typing, and uh, so it only supports typing. And so again, the point being that you need a flat surface in order to use that. And so it becomes very awkward if you're going to use something like the UbiDuo um, in the hallway between classes or uh, perhaps uh, outdoors uh, after school, after the school day is done, um, or going to the mall, anything like that. In those situations, um, the flat surface ends up being the ground or the floor, and, and people just aren't going to sit on the uh, floor of the uh, shopping mall and start uh, typing to each other. And so with Interact AS, uh, we've overcome that limitation. You literally can use this anywhere at any time. Um, the next element was uh, easy to carry, uh, no cables, no cords, these sorts of things. It kind of all wraps up into this uh, uh, philosophy of making the system very easy to use. And so certainly that's designed into uh, the product. People don't want to read manuals. They don't want to uh, go through uh, some sort of training sessions, things like that. They just want to turn it on and have it uh, uh, be able to start using it. And so, uh, uh, again, that's certainly designed into Interact.js, and we'll show you a little bit later uh, some videos of uh, people that are indeed doing that. Um, so step you through it really quick here before I jump into some demos. And if you're an individual that uh, was deaf or uh, for some reason unable to speak, um, what you would uh, use here is this top box. And any words that you type or write, and we do support handwriting recognition, uh, so any text that you enter here would be voiced aloud. And then uh, this middle box here, uh, uh, closed captions, anything else that's being said. So uh, uh, the second person in a conversation, maybe it's a, a video that's being shown, uh, a radio broadcast, anything like that is going to be displayed in that middle box. And then at the bottom here, what we're doing is keeping a transcript of everything that's been said. So if you're a, a student in the classroom, now you can save that transcript, save it as a Word file, and uh, later on that evening uh, use it to help with your studies. And as I mentioned uh, 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 previously, uh, we also support handwriting recognition. And so uh, we'll be demonstrating all that. And uh, with that, let me, uh, let me just jump right into uh, uh, giving a, a demonstration. So I'm going to bring over uh, Interact AS here. And this is what the interface looks like. And uh, what I can do now is uh, turn on my microphone by uh, clicking on this button here. And when I do that, it's going to start uh, instantly closed captioning everything that I'm saying. So uh, let's see, I could say a sentence like, uh, please write your name right now. And I'll turn the microphone off again here. Um, and so the reason I use this particular sentence is I wanted to show you that we use context in order to determine the appropriate closed captioning. And so here I said the word right twice, pronounced identically, uh, but two very different meanings and obviously different spellings. And so uh, with this, uh, what we have is an appropriate closed captioning for that particular uh, sentence. And we do that for uh, multiple situations where uh, uh, the appropriate context needs to be used. Um, for example, uh, let's see if I say, uh, my telephone number is 507-664-9123. And so uh, what I said here was just the, the numbers. So I started off by saying telephone here. And so there's enough context to know that, hey, if there's a string of numbers that are going to occur in this sentence, yeah, it's probably a telephone number. And so what you see here is the expected formatting for a phone number. 
uh, the dashes and the um, grouping of the numbers, that sort of thing. And so again, this is all a part of what you would expect in, in a closed captioning uh, system, and uh, it's done automatically for you. And so, oh, one other thing, I should uh, show you this one, actually kind of an important one. Um, punctuation uh, can also uh, be an issue, and so uh, within Interact AS, uh, we do have the ability to automatically add punctuation. Um, so if I say something like, uh, do you know what time it is? And so when I say that, what happens here is Interact AS automatically adds the punctuation for you. Now certainly you can use your voice to, uh, to add punctuation. So if you're familiar with the uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking, the identical capabilities to that, plus we've gone well beyond uh, the functionality of, of Dragon uh, to do things like uh, this ability to, uh, uh, to automatically add punctuation. Um, so let's uh, jump back to uh, uh, the PowerPoint presentation. In particular, what I want to do is talk about uh, how Interact AS, how this closed captioning capability is being used in schools. And uh, so again, I'm going to jump back over here. There we go. And so predominantly in schools, Interact AS, at least this closed captioning part of Interact AS, and in subsequent videos we'll get into many other features, but for closed captioning, it's almost exclusively being used in the classroom, where the student wants to see a transcript of whatever the teacher is setting, saying. And so what you have down here is a, a quotation from a student, and uh, we just uh, pasted it uh, exactly how uh, it was received by us. Um, but this is a very common uh, feedback on the point that uh, we get from students that are starting to use Interact AS to closed caption whatever is being said in the classroom, um, where they're um, surprised uh, at how much they were missing. And, and this makes sense when you think about it. When the, when the teacher is facing uh, the classroom, and so that, hard, that student that's hard of hearing um, can see the teacher's face, um, in those instances you uh, can read lips and you're seeing facial gestures, and so your cognition level is pretty high. But now when that teacher turns to write on the smart board or whiteboard, you've lost that ability to read the lips. And then in, especially if a, uh, a video is being played, a DVD or such, um, now all you have is a narrator speaking. And so you've totally lost this ability for any sort of gestures, and the cognition rate drops off substantially. And so now with Interact AS, with the closed captioning features of this product, now the student is able to see in real time a uh, text representation of what's being uh, spoken. So let's go back to uh, the demonstration here. And what I'll do is show that to you. And all I'm going to do here is uh, click one button. And this is the uh, Enable Automatic Translate. And so now um, it's just going to be kind of in a continuous mode here. So let's go ahead and apply those changes. And I'll come back and I'll turn my microphone on. So now anything that I say is instantly closed captioned. I'm not really sure what to say. I guess I can just talk about the product. Students are using this in the classroom to see a transcript of whatever the teacher says. For this setup, the teacher typically wears a wireless FM microphone, and the student has a laptop on his or her desk. Closed captioning is also really useful when a video is being shown in the room. I know that all such videos are supposed to be closed captioned, but the uh, reality is that oftentimes they are not. This software enables the hard of hearing student to understand what is being spoken in these videos. So I'll turn that off. And again, that's just an example of, uh, of being able to uh, uh, instantly close caption whatever is being said. And uh, so let's uh, jump back, I guess, one more uh, PowerPoint slide. And uh, then we can uh, move over to the, uh, the uh, next segment of the uh, videos here. But I, again, I just wanted to uh, emphasize that uh, the closed captioning features of Interact AS are, are certainly being used in the classroom, uh, but they go beyond that. Uh, you know, casual conversations, uh, we've talked a little bit uh, about conversations maybe in the hallway or after school talking with a coach, that sort of thing. And in addition to that, uh, items like a radio or television broadcast. So now somebody that is deaf can literally listen to the radio. We're not talking about music here, um, but if you have a talk show, something like that, uh, definitely uh, Interact AS is going to be able to uh, generate a closed captioning for you. So that concludes this segment of the video, and I'll join you in the next one.